Okay, so this, this yarn, this is our second batch. This is blue, and this has been sitting for half an hour. And so now we're about to lift it out, rinse it off with lukewarm water, and then we're going to drape it out like the red that we already have. So let's see how well the blue worked this time. So one of the things that we did differently this time was that we I did not poke it all the way down to see if we could get some of the stuff to, to stay undyed. This has obviously worked. Uh, part of the other the other part of this was that we were I was attempting to see if I could put more dye on one side to see if we could make a gradient. This does not appear to have worked. So now we're going to lift it out with our one blue chopstick and we're going to see <laughs> just how this works out. So one of the things that they tell you in all the yarn dyeing guides is make sure to poke it all down or it won't get dyed. So hey, they were right about that, but I specifically did that to see how right they were mm -hmm. about it. Now we know when you see the little things that look kind of like uncooked noodles, that's because they didn't get dyed. Mm -hmm. And you can see that when we did it in the red one over there, we have a consistent dye. Okay, good to know. All right, so let's see. Oh my gosh, that's hot. Oh well. Kirsten had no problems, but my hands are not fireproof. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's one. <laughs> okay, so now we are carefully using cold water, not like we're supposed to, to keep my hands from burning. And, uh, yeah, I think I can feel the blisters forming, it'll be fine. Um, I, I can't get it to be, like, lukewarm at all. <laughs> Maybe I should have checked the finish. Okay, there we go. That's good. Okay, now we're going to lightly rinse it. Oh, look, it's not bleeding at all. Wow. <laughs> it's still pretty warm. That was very strange. So I'm trying not to agitate it too much because it will easily felt together into a single piece of felt, which I don't want because I wanted to try knitting with this at some point, perhaps. Okay. So, one light squish, and let's see what we've got. It's a really gorgeous blue color. And uh, while the gradient did not work, not poking stuff down really means it does not get dyed. I don't think I, yeah. Okay, here we go. All right, and next we will have a color chosen by Jonica in okay. part three. Cool.